Hey, welcome back to my channel, and uh, I'll skip the usual jokes about hair care and makeup tutorials because, well, this time we're talking about my plans for this channel, and uh, essentially my plan is to do a one-year experiment. I'm, a, I'm going to try to post one video a week. Uh, I'm going to start counting in April 2023 going to April 2024 and see what happens. Uh, I haven't really decided on the parameters what will determine what I do in May of 2024, whether I just say, yeah, never mind, nobody wants to see this crap, or holy whatever, and keep going. We'll see. Uh, the funny piece is I looked at this YouTube channel. I opened the account in 2006. That's how long this has been sitting here, and I've had no clue what to do with it. Um, I'm a plural site author. I don't know if I've mentioned that, but yeah, done a couple of videos. I plan to do more. Um, and as I do things, sometimes I propose videos to plural site and they're like, yeah, that doesn't fit what we're doing. And some of them, I think this is content you should do. So I'll produce it here instead. As an example, I propose doing a video. Um, I have, uh, scripts and stuff put together that I can create my developer workstation uh, instantly. Well, it takes about 10 minutes, eh, 15 minutes for everything to run, but when it's all done, there's a virtual machine in Azure, has Visual Studio, and everything has been installed, and it's customized to me. All I do is log in, uh, clone my repo, and go to work. It's pretty cool. Um, and it goes across Terraform, Azure Virtual Machines, and uh, Chef. So that didn't fit with their um, curriculum, so Pluralsight's curriculum. And so I decided, okay, I'm gonna make this into a YouTube video and just put it here instead, because personally, I think it's pretty cool stuff. So as I'm doing this channel, I thought about, well, who are the people I'm gonna target with this content? And kind of going back, in if you lived in Dallas, God, I, I really, I can't think of the time frame, but there's this show called The Russ Martin Show, and he moved across a couple of uh, radio stations, but he was kind of a Howard Stern type character, except in my opinion, uh, he was way better than Howard Stern ever dreamed of being. The guy was much better. Um, as a matter of fact, according to him, he beat Howard Stern in the uh, ratings, which who knows, but I believe him because I love the content he produced. And one of the things that he'd say is he did the content for himself. He did what he thought was funny. Well, in this case, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to be informative. I uh, don't intend to be entertaining, although it might be kind of amusing as I screw things up. We'll see. Um, but that's it. But what that means is pretty much people, you know, guys, obviously, uh, who knows what the age range is. Some of the people, some of the stuff I think, uh, people just getting into uh, software development or early in their career, uh, my stuff will be uh, useful to them. But also, I'm 50. And so for older folks, God, that hurts. Uh, I think that it'll also be useful. Um, so along that I, you know, technically oriented, you know, you need to be able to do a little math and be able to do some reasoning to follow along with some of the stuff that I'm going to do. But you don't have to be a genius either because I sure as hell am not a genius. So that's who I'm targeting. What's the content going to be? Well, I thought about it and I'm calling it a high tech lifestyle. Uh, I've listened to a lot of other YouTubers and you know how to be successful on YouTube. And they're like, oh, yeah, you got to pick your niche and you just focus all your stuff on that. And so, like, you have Peter McKinnon, which is kind of interesting. You have Peter McKinnon. He does photography, and that's his shtick. Or you have, you know, other fitness influencers, and they do that. And it's like, to me, it's kind of boring. It's one-note music over and over. It's like, okay, well, what's Peter McKinnon going to do? He's going to show me amazing scenery. It's beautiful. But it's always the same stuff. And not necessarily what I'm in the mood for, and it doesn't necessarily, it doesn't always fit. Now, I'm not always going to fit what you're interested in, but there's more to life than just software development or just photography or just going to the gym. 
and we do all of these things and how do they all mesh together? How does one influence the other? And I think I can talk about that at least in, con in context to me. So some of the content is going to be original. Uh, the thing I was talking about, the ephemeral workstation, that's what I call it, that's going to be pretty freaking original. And then I'm also going to do content curation. I'm going to send you to other people's channels. Uh, on the fitness side, there's people like uh, the Bioneer uh, or Rush Athletics. Uh, he does jump rope. Bioneer dude does a lot of calisthenics and other really cool stuff that's not necessarily, in my opinion, it's very CrossFit, but you won't see it that way as being CrossFit. But it's stuff that's very useful to you as you try to get in shape. So those those are the two areas that the stuff will go in. But yeah, okay, so what the blazes does high-tech lifestyle mean? Well, obviously in my opinion, technical. So we're gonna talk about software development, DevOps. Uh, we'll get into the cloud a bit. I do AWS and Azure, so we'll be doing things with that. Uh, automation, things like Chef, scripting, um, you know, Terraform, all of that type of stuff, which, okay, fine. Terraform's not necessarily automation. It's infrastructure as code, but whatever. Work with me here. And then also, I want to do some Raspberry Pi stuff. I've got, well, they're not here, but I've got a ton of Raspberry Pis. I plan to do stuff, you know, setting up a security system around my house and using it. Um, I, among other things, I rescue dogs, and I've got nine dogs at my house right now. Okay, I always have nine dogs in my house. Uh, I want to set up a security system where in the backyard it's able to actually tell me which dog is which. So doing uh, object recognition, stuff like that will be kind of cool. I don't know how to do it right now. We'll find out. Um, then within this lifestyle, I think fitness fits very much into a high-tech lifestyle because if you're not fit, you the your ability to concentrate for a long time isn't as good. You're, you don't feel as good. You're not as, in my opinion, but it, you need to be fit and it helps. You can do stuff better when you feel better. And this is my take on it. And so within that, you know, I'm going to talk about CrossFit and other, I could say gym bro, but going to the gym. I go to an Anytime Fitness and I go to a CrossFit gym. Um, and I'll talk about my reasoning behind that and the stuff that I'm doing for myself in dealing with just, I mentioned I'm getting old. Uh, you deal with stuff, things like torn meniscuses and other issues, and the gym can actually help you manage that stuff. So I think it's very important. And along with that is cooking. Uh, you know, I joke that you know, people who cook, you know, if you can't cook, you're at the mercy of those of us who can, because you're going to eat what I cook um, if you can't cook. And if you don't like what I cook, you're going to starve. Sorry. Um, but there's also more to it. It's like there's a lot of science coming up that it's, you need to watch what you eat. And it's not necessarily, oh my God, I got to eat fewer calories. It's just all these chemicals and stuff that they're putting in food. So if you're able to cook for yourself, then you can kind of have some say in what's going in your body. And I think that's important. And then, you know, motorcycles, cars, because of YouTube, we won't do any firearm stuff. I'd love to. I enjoy shooting, but we're not going to do it here. Uh, maybe on Rumble or somewhere else if I get really energetic and this is working well, uh, post content elsewhere. And then, again, the whole point behind like high-tech lifestyle is it means whatever the heck I want it to mean. So we'll talk whatever uh, talk about whatever it is I want to talk about, which probably we'll get into some sci-fi and talking about books. Um, so we'll get into that junk, all right? So what's the content going to look like? We'll do some screencasts, some talking head. And then, as I mentioned, demos and meat space. Like I said, I got to work out how to shoot in the gym and like the cooking, how to do a stand and stir. I, geez, this is, I'm going to be learning and maybe I'll talk about the learning as I do it because some of the stuff I can tell you having learned to do plural site content, uh, doing this type of thing is more difficult than you think. It's, you know, yeah, you can grab your iPhone and turn on the camera and start talking. 
and maybe even do great if you're good at it. But I'm not good at this and I'm learning. So we'll see what happens over this next year. So anyway, that's my plan for this channel. Uh, thanks a lot. I hope uh, you'll come back and see what I do. Uh, should be good for a laugh or three. Uh, if you want to talk to me, uh, I do use Twitter. Uh, and I like that. I'll see you next time. Oh shit, we're still recording.